Hello YouTubers, how are you doing? This is Everyday Shenanigans and thanks for joining me. Warm greetings from the high 10, baby. Yes, it's Big Edge. Friday, December 27, 2019. I'd like to bring you a following update to the information that I just uploaded uh, previously today. Um, more information pertaining to um, the demise of Miss Camille McKinney, aka Cupcake. I want to bring you some information about information about the parents. Uh, in this case, uh, I have a source out of Birmingham, Alabama, and I am content with the information that I am pre I am receiving, and I it it ties into information that I had heard before. And as I state to you all, that a lot of the information that I get or that we have all heard pertaining to um, the kidnapping and um, murder of Miss Camille McKinney has been speculation, this and that, of who's involved and the said reasoning behind um, the child's um, demise. Uh, sadly, you know, very sad, tragic story of a child taken too soon. But I want to give you information pertaining to the parents. Just from what I've seen uh, with the parents, I can see that these two are very uh, turbulent individuals. I could say that it would have been, I think, <clears throat> what is the word I'm looking for? would have been hard for children to grow up with parents who bicker back and forth, who are at odds, each other's throats constantly. It has come to my table that... Dominic McKinney and April Thomas have cried this kidnapping hoax before. Yes, you're hearing me correct. That these two individuals, or the mother perhaps, has cried kidnapping on the part of the father before. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Are we shocked or are we not? Let's say, for instance, Mr. McKinney did not return Camille back at a certain time. April Thomas has been believed to have claimed that Dominic has kidnapped a child. Now, what are the odds that this <coughs> dynamic has transpired between the two parents on an ongoing basis? And the one time that she visits this Tom Brown complex, you know? complex that she does not live or reside or pay rent or name on a deed lease yeah 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 that her child would go missing at this said complex alongside another small child it's baffling to me and i can see how people could speculate certain things and so as you see as this information falls into my lap it shows so many scenarios and so many ways to spin this record. Because, honey, it's a dirty record, show sure enough. But to hear that these two have cried this gang before, the kidnapping gang with one another, and I know some of you are probably thinking, my God, where did you hear that? Mm. Oh, yes. The queen might know some people that know some people. Because, you see, I'm not on this channel by accident. And my pastor will tell you that. There are no accidents. That you end up in places for a reason. And that people reach out to you for a reason. And I believe that. I believe these two never got alone. I think these two, as I stated, are turbulent individuals who breeded children and brought the children here. And they are not kind to one another. So that will lead one to believe how can you be of any substance to your children. If you can't even get along with the parents. And I'm not saying you can't be a good parent to your child. If you have problems with the other parent. But it would be hard to try to stay focused and vigilant. To be a good example when you're bickering with a other parent. And now to hear this information coming to me only moments ago. That this cry wolf kidnapping has happened before that she has made claims I will bring a further update as far as if the police was ever called on the part of the mother claiming that Mr. Dominic McKinney has taken her child before I will bring that information and of course it will be hearsay of course because I'm repeating it from another source 
but it gives us something to ponder on how far it went this time. And I'm not saying that they conspired to get their child gone this time. But what I'm saying to you all is that if the mother has made these claims before on the father, is taking the child, not returning the child, using the word kidnapped. What I'm saying to you is that you can claim things into existence by speaking it. This is why you have to be very careful about what you talk about. You have to be very careful in the words you use because sometimes, sometimes the things that you speak can come true. That the one time that you claim somebody kidnapped your child or somebody's playing a dirty game on you, a dirty game with you, the child is actually missing. And that two vultures came along and fulfilled the wish. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that she wished this for her kid. Could be, could not. That has been speculated. Deliberately left out. Oh yes, I'm going to say it to you. I'm going to clear the air on all the speculations and innuendos because remember I said I didn't want to have to go here but with the said information brought to me just recently as I got off I said well let me get back on Yes, the cry wolf of kidnapping has transpired before that this is a game these two have played with one another. But the sick part is that the one time when no crying wolf of a kidnap or a, you let the child go with the parent, the child didn't come back on time. This one time the child was allegedly playing, having fun during her normal routine. She actually was kidnapped. And what is this issue of defending the father on Miss Thomas's part all of a sudden? Why are you defending a man who talked ill of you on the news? Then allegedly apologized around the holidays, Thanksgiving time. I never saw that post, but this is what was alleged to me from others. Then he goes live in a, a live feed bickering back and forth with Mr. Two Guns and then he makes a reference of a crusty baby mama. So you see where I'm going with this everybody? If you're not following me this is nothing but a game to these people. That these people lived a turbulent life before Cupcake was kidnapped and murdered. That they did not get along before she left here. And I think most of you who are in tune to what is going on and what has played out through social media, you can see they did not get along then, but they're not getting along now. And that would lead one to wonder why all of a sudden you flip-flop to sad, to happy, to angry, to bitter, to revenge, to this, to that. Stay in tune, Miss Thomas, because Frankly, you're confusing us. You don't want anyone discussing anything about you or the father now all of a sudden. You want to be left alone, you say. But yet, you flip-flop. You lay quiet because you were told to be quiet. Then you do a live feed contradicting the timeline of the child's disappearance. Don't want to stoop to a certain level of the other parent. But then, yeah, he talks bad about you in a live feed, ranting and raving with someone else. And now, you jump back on weeks in to now say, he loved his daughter. You loved your daughter. We both loved our daughter, but we want you all to leave us alone. Well, see, your baby daddy should have kept his mouth closed and no one would be bothering him or you. You see, this back and forth you two are doing, this up and down roller coaster, up and down, round and round, where is it leading? Where is it leading? I don't really think you know yourself. Because see, I listen to everything. I've been listening to everything from day one when the child was reported missing. And so many pieces missing from the puzzle. And as I tell people, deliberately missing. Haven't you all figured that out? 
that this is just a dirty game to these people. That some people are crying wolf because this is how they were living beforehand. And that's why it's so easy to play this hand now after the child's death. Because this is really who you are. You were a spectacle beforehand. And you just rise into the occasion to show us who you really are. And there was an alleged kidnapping hoax years back. Allegedly with the son that was said on social media. I listened to that just like I listened to all the other rumors. Didn't have no proof. Did not know. But now I bring that forward to this source that is giving me information out of Birmingham with the alleged kidnapping happening before that she cries kidnapping when the child wasn't returned to her. So when I think to what the source said today versus the alleged issue of the son going missing by the father years back or whenever it allegedly took place, all that came forward to me today. And I started thinking, wait a minute, I've heard this before, but it was with the other child that allegedly he kept the child from the mother. Allegedly. Now here comes the source saying, well, the understanding is that she plays this game with him. Child's not returned. She cries kidnapping. But did she ever call the police? I'm wondering that. And that's what I'm waiting on as I speak to you right now. Did she ever call another time to say the child was held out by the father? Not actually kidnapping, but he's running a little late returning my baby to me. And as I said to you all, how about the one time, if this is true, the tit-for-tat kidnapping my baby finally came true that the one time when the child is allegedly just playing with her family and friends, attended a birthday party that allegedly she was not invited to, she actually is taken by two villains. Now you're going to wonder, sweet Jesus, is there a connection? Is this a setup? Why the change of heart all of a sudden on the mother's part, defending this monster who's talked ill of her in public? Which is it? You like the baby daddy or you don't like him? You're friends with the baby daddy, you're not friends with him. You know what I'm going to say to all of you? And this is honest. Honest talk right now. I feel sorry for Amari. I truly feel sorry for him. Because if he has to live like this with these people, the bickering and back and forth, that means he was dealing with it beforehand. What chance does this child have with two people going back and forth on social media with posts and this and that? No privacy at all to be a child, to enjoy his life, mourning his sister, of course. What life could this child have with these people? And I think some of you need to wake up and realize this is not a game. Whether it be YouTube, social media, something is wrong with these people. And this child who's left, and besides the other two children, by the other baby mother, sweet Jesus, what chance do they have at a proper upbringing when they have people who cannot settle their differences in a civilized manner and they take to social media to air their grievances and their rants and they this and that? Because some of you have failed to realize these children are being reared by these people. They have rights to these children, but they're not thinking of their children. And this is the point I have been trying to make to some of you who have been so blind by these parents' actions. You see, future behavior is indignative of past behavior. Y'all better stay woke out there.
Because some of you are missing the points to this story. This has been going on. Quit playing. This has been going on. Everything just finally came to fruition. This is Everyday Shenanigans. Hit the like button and share. Until the next video, bye-bye.